Great ingredients are at the heart of everything Chef Hugh Fernley Brittingstall does at River Cottage, which is celebrating its 10th anniversary this year. And he joins us now to talk about his new, new book. It's like a coffee table book because it's as big as a coffee table. Uh, the River Cottage A to Z. Uh, the, uh, also, he's got a new BBC show, Ingenious Animals, as well. He's going to be cooking for us in, uh, in a bit. But look at that It's thing. a beast. It's a tome. It That's really some, is. Right? everything that you need to know in there, even down to plum fumbling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I'm a big fan of a plum fumble. Me too. And now is the time to make one. Um, we've got 333 ingredients in our A to Z, the wow. things we really love to cook with. And the idea of the book really is just to help all home cooks to expand their cooking horizons, to not be in afraid of any ingredient, the things that you're not quite sure about, what do you do with it, or how do I do something different with something I cook all the time. Um, what's in season? What's in season... Even a few growing tips for the things that we love to grow. So lots of um, things to introduce you to, but also some real classics in here. I mean, this also has the holy grail of the secret to the perfect crackling. Yes, it does. It, Can you tell us what that is? Or am I... The skin of your pork joint must be really dry. Right. So if it's come in a vac pack, you need to leave it sitting in the room until that skin's really, really dry. How long for? As long as it takes. But if it goes in a, a wet, it'll never crackle up the same way. If you actually leave it with a little bit of sunlight coming on it, it dries it out really well. You don't want to do that for too no, long. No, not too long. But, but uh, get it nice and dry, rub in a bit of salt, and then one of two or three things... Uh, coriander seeds or fennel seeds, really delicious way of flavouring that crackling. It's that dry skin. It's you absolutely score it? critical. You've got to score it, yeah. You've got to score it at just two or three millimetres. Not so far that you get into the meat, just enough to get through the skin. And not more than a centimetre apart. And then it'll all bubble up and blister and you get the flavour of the fennel and the mm. saltiness of... What's the temperature of... in your, your oven? Well, you go for what I call the sizzle, uh, the, 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 the half-hour sizzle at the beginning. That gets it going. And then if it's not quite crackled, you turn the, te the temperature up at the end. In the middle of that cooking, you take the temperature down a bit so that the crackling doesn't burn while the meat cooks through. I'm going to try that, that, and I'll um, let you know. So, uh, so as, as, as well as this, and we'll, we'll do some cooking in a, in a minute, you've also got the uh, Ingenious Animals on, on BBC One. Last week's was amazing. So and you have actually been looking into the fact that reptiles are possibly more intelligent than, than we thought before. Yeah, wonderful experiments with, with a chameleon who can open trap doors to get to food and do all sorts of clever things. Wow. OK, yeah. well, that is Ingenious Animals. BBC One tomorrow at 8. Um, River Cottage A to Z is out now. It's absolutely beautiful. So let's do some cooking. I think we should.